First, though, Saudi Arabian club Al Etihad have made a shock move for Arsenal winger Leandro Chossard ahead of the close of their transfer window at 10 o'clock tonight. Chief reporter Carve Solokol is with us now. Carve, what do you know? Well, look, Al Etihad made this offer, which is an offer to take the player on loan uh, with an option to sign him, but it has been rejected by Arsenal. Arsenal have no interest in selling Leonardo Trossard. I think the reason this has come about is uh, Trossard moved to Arsenal 18 months ago from Brighton. He's made a really, really big impact, has scored lots of very important goals. But I think he's been a little bit disappointed that he's not starting as many games as he would like. And also, we've seen in the last few days, Arsenal have signed Raheem Sterling uh, on loan from Chelsea. And Trossard, of course, is not one of the big, big earners at Arsenal. So I'm wondering if uh, our Etihad have looked at all this and thought, you know what, we may be able to do a deal for him, which is why they've made this late offer. But Arsenal have rejected it out of hand. I know a lot of Arsenal supporters uh, have been on social media today saying there's no way we should sell Leonardo Trossard. And I think the good news, if you're an Arsenal fan, is the people running the club feel exactly the same way because that offer has been rejected. And I would be very, very surprised if the player was to leave. You say surprised if the player was to leave. They have made an offer. It's been rejected. Should we assume that's it? What happens if they come back with an improved offer? Well, look, the, the, the window is still open in Saudi Arabia. It's open for, what, just under another five hours. Uh, but we now know for a fact that Alex had are looking at other targets uh, for that wide position. They're in talks with Porto to sign the young uh, Brazilian winger Galeno, very highly rated young player. They're also in talks with Ajax to try and sign Steven Bergwijn. So I think they've left it too late and Arsenal don't want to sell Trossard. So I really can't see uh, that deal happening for Trossard to go from the Emirates to Saudi Arabia. Could still be a busy few hours, though. You, you mentioned that 10 o'clock deadline for the Saudi Pro League. Is there anyone else, aside of the players you've mentioned there, that we could see move before tonight? Well, look, I don't think there will be the kind of blockbuster names we saw last summer. Last summer, Karim Benzema, Neymar, Riyad Mahrez, Saudi club spent something like £700 million. Uh, this summer, spending has been down by about 65%. So the spending has been a lot more restrained. The biggest deal, I think, was Moussa Diaby. Uh, from Aston Villa to Al Etihad for £50 million. There are some deals still going through today, some big deals, uh, but not really blockbuster names. For instance, Al Hilal have signed the Benfica and Brazilian winger Marcus Leonardo for €40 uh, million. Euros. Al Nasser have signed a really good French centre-back who plays for RB Leipzig, Mohamed Simakan, for €40 million. Euros. So some business is being done but not the big blockbuster names that we were used to last summer. When this all started, we were expecting these big blockbuster names to move. Why in this transfer window have they decided, actually, we're going to be a little bit more restrained? Be more sensible. Uh, I think the main reason is because Saudi Pro League clubs are only allowed to have 10 foreign players. And these slots, most of them, were used up last summer. Uh, I think last summer they were allowed eight foreign players, so it's gone up to 10. But there aren't the available slots for these clubs to go out and spend big on foreign players. So that is the main reason why I think it's been a lot more restrained. Also, I think last summer, the policy was let's make a big splash. Let's create some headlines. Let's create a real buzz around our league. Now they've got these big name players tied down to long term contracts. They're happy with what they've got. And to sign more foreign players, they need to move foreign players out. And guess what? Most of the foreign players who've moved to Saudi Arabia are very happy there because they've got, um, you know, a, a great lifestyle. They enjoy it there. They like the weather. And of course, the main thing they like is the incredible wages, which are also tax free.